let's set up the page select the page resolution and click on create now from the toolbar select this text tool and here write the text DC and let's drag it and make the size a little bit bigger mark it and now from the font option uh, let's change the font now do right click and rasterize type and from here select this rectangle uh, mark you tool and select the C do right click on your mouse again and layer be a cut so our text is separated now now select this one by using a uh, left arrow key and by pressing shift key take it towards left hand side like this let's change the color of the text so that we can identify them easily so take this paint bucket tool and change the color now we need to cut here and here so what we need to do now is select this one and from here drag it and make a duplicate layer and let's change the color for this new and take uh, this layer at the top at the top of the C now here we need to make a gap just just here only we need uh, we need to make a gap for that select this one take this eraser tool and delete those extra area so up to here is fine because we need to make gap uh, here only so those areas will not affected and similarly select this one and make duplicate just by drag it and place it here so it makes a duplicate and now change the color for this and take this new layer of C at the top from here now select this one take eraser tool and delete those because here we need to make gap only to this area so you can delete those extra areas now select this one and uh, from here use direct selection tool quick selection tool and select this after selecting that go to type go to select modify expand it so here give some value uh, let me check with 8 click OK this much is fine and now select this object and press delete key on your keyboard and we made a gap here now control D and remove this selection and take it out and delete it similarly select this one and do quick selection go to select option modify expand it and here also give the same value so that it can match up with this same gap and click OK and now select this D and press delete key on your keyboard and make it a gap here and control D and remove this selection select this one and delete it now let's change the color so from here take a nice color 
and use it over here so I'm using lighting color so that uh, in the mock-up it it would looks more nicer and for this one let me take somewhat more bright color so it's fine now now from here uh, unmark this background now go to file and open the mockup so all those mockups are already uh, uploaded video on this channel you can find them by visiting on the channel and you can download those mockups and let me select this open now double click here and drag our transparent logo so let me group it first and now drag it to the mockup page and leave it here click on yes and place it at the center you can drag it and make the size little bit bigger and mark it unmark this original mockup background close the tab click on yes and here you can see the result once it is processed and let me uh, hide this hope this tutorial helps you thank you for watching